I helped an e-commerce brand go from zero to $371,000 in sales in just two months with zero ad spend, all through email marketing. In this video, I'll show you exactly how did I get those results and I will break down each step so you can get the same results for your brand. Now, if this is the first time you meet me, my name is Konrad Vesotsky and I've been able to generate over 7 figures in sales for multiple e-commerce brands just from email marketing. I post weekly detailed videos to help e-commerce brand owners grow their business without relying on paid ads. The strategy was based on three core pillars. Number one, sign up form, number two, flows and number three, campaigns. Now, now let's dive into each one step by step. So as you can see this is from 0 to 371k monthly current revenue in under, under 60 days. Uh, this is the preferred after the brand was already established, they were already doing decent numbers but they had no email marketing at all. So we've, what we've done is we've implemented our system which was proven to work once again uh, and in just two months, month number two, we managed to get them 371k in sales which was equal to 42% of their total revenue. Okay, so let's start with sign up form. We needed something to convert new visitors into leads and something that we would allow us to collect email addresses from those people. So the proven method and probably the best thing you can do is to set up a simple pop-up. Our pop-up was offering 40% off, but it was a usual discount for this brand. It's not like, you know, they were running 10% off on their Facebook ads and Google ads and now we're offering 40% off and that's why it was working so well. No, that's not the case. Uh, they were, they had 40% off everywhere, so it was uh, on their social media, they were running it as ads, all this kind of stuff. Now for trigger, uh, on desktop we went with exit intent only, we didn't want those people to interrupt right away. On mobile we can't track fingers yet, unfortunately, so we just went with 8 seconds page load, which is quite decent, uh, you know, not too quickly, not showing right away. And the overall conversion rate was 8%, which was quite decent because for every 100 visitors we had 8 new people, 8 new subscribers, uh, which is you know, pretty decent. Now, if your, your sign up form is not converting well, the best thing you can do is to test more offers. I know you probably may think, okay, but why is that? Uh, you know, I thought that maybe testing different design or different copy may help or different trigger, but that's not really the case. Uh, the biggest impact and the highest revenue generating, you know, activity that you can do with your sign up form is testing more offers. So, for example, if 40% off would not be, you know, uh, converting well, then what you would need to do is calculate your AOV. So, for example, if it was 100 bucks and you're offering 40% off, you instead would offer $40 off. If that wouldn't convert, you can test a bunch of other offers. From my experience, what works the absolutely the best is free gift with purchase. But I know not every band can do it, uh, but still, if you're offering higher percentage discount, uh, you just need to calculate your AOV to see how much it would cost you, because for example, if your AOV is 100 bucks uh, and you're offering 40 bucks, 40% 40 off, uh, like the cost of you know the offer uh, of the lead if, when they convert is 40 bucks. But for example, if you have like really low ticket product that cost of goods is for example five bucks, uh, you can offer that. And instead of you know giving away 40 bucks of each order, you're just like let's say paying five bucks, uh, which is cost of goods to get those new people. And this is free gift with purchase, so they need to actually buy to get this free gift, uh, which is no ideal for you. But if you can't do free gift with purchase, you can test free book, free shipping, and many other stuff. Uh, and then obviously once you've tested a bunch of offers, uh, you can call, like, proceed to testing copy design triggers, uh, etc. Now let's move on to flows. Uh, so we've set up nine core flows, welcome series, abandoned cart, abandoned checkout, post purchase, browse abandonment, site abandonment, customer win back, VIP and sunset unengaged. These are the absolute core flows and you know we didn't do any like under the radar flow or one hack super hack flow that no one is talking about. We've just done the basics but we've executed them exceptionally well. So our copy and design were very very good. Now the actual length of, email of flows uh, was for a welcome series. We started with five emails. Then over the time we kept adding more but we just had uh, you know to start with something as they had no email marketing at all. So we started with five emails right here. For abandoned card and checkout, we started with two emails per flow, but then we uh, bumped it up to four emails per flow. With post purchase, we started with five emails, then we bumped it up to eight emails. Browse abon and site abandonment, uh, there were three emails long all the time, so we started with that and the slang for those flows is enough because you don't want to annoy people. Same goes for customer win back and VIP, three emails in those flows, and sunset unengaged was just one uh, single email. 
So this is how, how it went with the flows and you know, this were, these are some of our core metrics uh, which I think are quite decent. One thing that could be uh, probably higher is open rate, but we then run a bunch of A-B tests for subject lines, preview texts and etc. So we bumped it up later on, but these are just, you know, metrics from the month that I'm uh, talking about. Uh, the best performing flows were welcome series, abandoned checkout and abandoned cart. And this will be the case for most of e-commerce brands. These free flows are gonna, you know, generate the most revenue for your brand. And as you can see, this screenshot from the welcome series shows the importance of having really good, uh, really good offer that people want. As you can see, the open rate was almost 70% and this one email alone generated $109,000 in sales uh, with 23% 20, uh, click rate and 12.5% conversion rate. Uh, you know, people just really wanted the offer, they really want, wanted their discount, so they were incentivized to get the email open and buy. That, that's how it works. One thing to remember, do not add any delay between uh, trigger and first email in the welcome series. If someone subscribes, you have to give them the incentive right away otherwise they're gonna get mad they're gonna get angry or they're gonna forget and be like okay uh, i don't want to do it screw this and they're gonna not buy from you so don't have any delay right here then we're recovering a bunch of cards and checkouts as you can see uh, obviously like the the, the length of the flow and the time delay were also changed later on we changed it to one hour and then it was like one day one day uh so it was slightly faster uh, the emails were being sent slightly faster, but overall this is how it looked like and now the campaign So the list size was 8k and they weren't receiving any emails at all So the frequency uh, that we went with was between two and four emails per week now two between four because in the month number one we started sending two emails per week to make sure we're not annoying the audience to see what are their metrics and then once we saw that you know uh, the list is really really high quality they're buying they're clicking they're opening we bounced it up to four emails per week which was quite decent as you can see here is the content we've been sending so for month number one it was one promotional and one value packed email per week and by value packed i mean like outfit ideas uh promoting blog articles giving some tips tricks uh talking about you know the usp the founder story brand story brand mission all this kind of stuff uh give people actual value they can use uh, and then uh, promotional emails are like self-explanatory just like offering discounts sales everything like that uh, and then month number two and further so like uh, from month number two and on we're sending four campaigns per week uh, and this is like the the structure we're using so each week it would be different uh, to make sure that the list is not you know uh, they, not, they are not annoyed uh, the content is slightly different every single week so uh, they're, they're feeling it's kind of new uh, and it's not being sent the same time every single week so uh, for example one week we would send two value packed content emails and two promotional emails then another week we would send three promotional emails and one value packed emails and then uh, another week we would send three value packed emails and one promotional one uh, and this is not the exact order uh, like you know we went to uh, uh, every single week uh, we're like mixing them so for example one week we'll send free value and one promotional then the other one uh two value two promotional ones then for example once again this then this and all this kind of stuff we're just mixing it up uh to have differentiation of the content those are the main segments that we're sending to so obviously uh probably most of the times you'll be sending to your engaged segments or people who are engaged with your emails or your website in the last 30 90 or 180 days same goes for non-buyers, existing customers, just people who, you know, like it's self-explanatory, people who didn't buy or people who already bought from you and your VIPs. These were the absolute core segments that we're sending to, uh, you know, they're performing well, which you can see right here because these are the core metrics. So uh, I think everything is looking really, really healthy in terms of metrics. Obviously, we've been running also a bunch of A-B tests for every single email we've been sending to uh, just to find the perfect, you know, copy, uh, design structure, sending time and all this kind of stuff. Or find everything uh, like the perfect combination that works and performs well. And those are the things that we're testing and that you can A-B test as well. So subject lines, design versus plain text. If you're not doing plain text, I highly recommend you do it, especially if you're sending like reminders about the sales or like really, really personal email. For example, note from the founder, uh, they work very, very well. Obviously don't base your whole strategy around plain text emails only unless you do like info product uh, sales. But other than that, free commerce plain text emails are really powerful because people are not, not used to them. They feel really, really friendly. Uh, so like, yeah, give them a go if you haven't tried it yet. 
I was also were testing different copy, uh, different angles, different sending times, different offers. So as I said, uh, with the sign up form, we've done the same with campaigns. So one time we would send 20, uh, in this case, obviously it was like 40% off, then we would send 100 bucks off. Uh, we were just testing a bunch of stuff and this instructor was tested by us as well. Here are some of the example, example campaigns, so you can see it's actually you know, performance from, from Clavio and not some uh, random numbers that anyone could uh, you know, write in their Google Doc, but those are the actual campaigns that we've sent to the list, so as you can see, uh, they were performing quite well, the click through rate on those one was like insane, but this is both to the list quality and both to, uh, and due to the you know the copy and design that we've done. Uh, but like I have to say this, that the quality of this list was insane. They were very engaged. So like yeah, uh, that's exactly what we've done. This is much it, pretty much it. If you're looking for some you know weird hack or like weird tip that is gonna blow your business up, uh, I'm sorry if you haven't found it yet. Uh, but like this is it. Like for real, we just implemented the core uh, strategy, the basics but they were executed very, very, very well, exceptionally well, and this is how, how it went. This is exactly how we achieved 371k in sales in this month number two uh, for this brand. Now, if you have the time and resources to implement email marketing yourself, this is the exact strategy that will get you to anywhere between 30 to 50% of your revenue from email marketing. But if you are too busy or don't want to spend months figuring out what's gonna work for you, I can help you. Just book a call with me and it's gonna be with me personally and we'll walk it through. You can do it by clicking the link in the video description, uh, just book a call with me and we'll gonna talk through it. And that's pretty much it, if you combine this strategy with solid copy and design, email marketing will be printing sales for your e-commerce store every single month. That's it for this video, thanks for watching, make sure you like, subscribe and take care, bye!